Hey, hi everyone. I wanted to show off a little bit of an interesting thing when it comes to stickless and SOCD modes and maybe something to be aware of if you play certain games and use certain SOCD modes. So right now I am on last input wins SOCD. What this means is that the last input between left and right that went is the one that will win. So if I'm holding uh, my two, my left and right button right now, the one that I last pressed is the one that is going to come through. That doesn't come through in the controller display, but that's just what I'm doing. And then same thing for, it is actually same thing for up and down. I actually wondered, I, I didn't know that off the top of my head. Because yeah, I'm holding uh, up and down right now and I pressed uh, down last. Normally on hitbox layout, if you on hitbox SOCD or neutral SOCD or up priority SOCD, if you do this, and then you're just going to keep on jumping, but not on last input wins. So why do I bring this up? Because half circles might be a little bit weird on this mode. So let me go ahead and do one. Did you notice anything strange there? You might have missed it. So I am actually skipping the two input whenever I do a half circle on last input wins SOCD unless I really slow down the input way more than I normally would, which I can, but Strive just accepts it as a half circle, even if you're skipping the two. So what's the problem? All right, so we got Bullet here. So Bullet has a command grab that is half circle forward C. That's what it properly looks like when you do it properly. Now, if I slow down my movements, I can do that just fine. But if I try and do it my normal way, just very quick, this will happen. And you will never, ever get that input. So Place Blue's uh, system will not let you skip two, whereas Strive will. So I found over time that what I want to do personally is I will stick with just neutral or up priority SOCD. Either one, usually up priority just because I'm used to it. Last input wins is tempting. It's very tempting for charge characters, which I actually pair, play a fair amount. Because if you play last input wins SOCD on charge characters, then when you're holding a button and then you press the other button uh, opposite of it, it'll just automatically turn into that button without you needing to let go of your last button. Like right here, I'm holding back the entire time and then I tap forward and you'll always get a sonic boom out of that. If you play on neutral SOCD, then you actually have to let go of back. It's tempting to mess around with SOCD modes if you're a tinkerer and you like the idea of like different tricks that you can pull off and if you play a charge character and you think that last input wins will be better on that charge character but I tell you I I had this issue in training mode doing some bullet combo trials and it took me forever to figure out what the problem was because when you look at the input viewer it is actually hard to tell when you're hitting two and when you're skipping it, unless you know what you're looking for. So I didn't know what the problem was for a long time because I was on last input wins at that time. So Tekken 7 is another game, surprisingly, where the issue exists. So here's the normal move. At least one diagonal in the uh, motion input. We can even uh, get only the cardinal directions, and we'll still get a half circle. But if we skip two, then we won't get it. Interesting, interesting, interesting. It seems like Guilty Gear XR will let you skip the two just fine. issue is not in Super Turbo. Yoga Flame, which is a half circle forward, comes out just fine, no matter how fast I'm pressing. And we're on last input wins. All right, well, I found one more where the, the case is that you have to hit two on your half circle. Melty Blood. 
no half circle because we didn't hit down. Wait. And half circle because we hit down. It also didn't like that we skipped the diagonals, which makes sense. Even Strive it wants you to hit at least one diagonal. And same thing here. It wants you to hit, hit at least one diagonal. This has been a little bit of an exploration into the differences between games and what works in one game that doesn't work in another game. This is fairly obvious if you do play a ton of fighting games, but the issue gave me such anger <laughs> because I was on Lasso Input Wins and I was trying to do Bullets Trials and I was like, why can't I get this move to come out? And the whole time, I was just missing two, just because I was going as fast as I normally do, and Central Fiction wants you to hit two. It's so interesting, because it's only going to affect, like, the smallest, the absolute smallest amount of people. You have to be playing Blaze Blue Central Fiction, you have to be on a stickless, and you have to be on Last Input Wins, which no stickless ships with Last Input Wins as stock, so you have to be a tinkerer messing around with that feature. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay, I got my hands on another Blaze Blue. Chrono Phantasm... Chrono Phantasma Extent. The issue does not exist in this version, even though it's an older version of this game from Central Fiction. So I can miss two, and I can do two, and it'll do it just fine. Why is Central Fiction the only game that is like this? That makes it to where it's not universal advice to to not do last input wins. It just means if you play Blaze Blue Central Fiction, don't use last input wins. Gonna stand there all day. <laughs> That's just weird, yo. That's so weird. This has been stickless science. Thank you and good night.